What's going on? Cole Connor here. Today I want to talk about Lightroom's game-changing new update. Now you can remove anything from your photos with just one click. You don't have to open Photoshop. The AI generated remove for Lightroom is here. As a real estate photographer and editor, this is no doubt going to save us a ton of time. So let me show you how this works and how AI is continuously changing the way we edit for the better. Let's get into it. My name is Cole Connor and I was put here to do three things. Create, inspire, love. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. Okay, so version 8.0 in Lightroom had multiple updates, but the one I was most excited about is the generative AI remove. Let's take a look at some of the other updates just in case you're interested. Okay, we got the generated remove. We have content credentials, allows you to attach digi a digital signature and editing information to your pictures. You have a quick actions. You have detect objects, which actually did incorporate with the generative remove, which you'll see in a second how it's helpful. Lens blur, uh, archive to local storage, edit in third party apps, and uh, tethered capture with Sony. That's actually pretty cool because that allows you to capture photos and change camera settings from Lightroom Classic. I'm excited to use that. I might actually make a video on that. Would that be interesting to you? Let me know. Okay, so let's just jump right into Lightroom. All right, so let's just start with this very simple image here. Looks great, everything's good, but let's just say the homeowner or the agent's like, I actually hate this clock and I don't want it in there. How would we do that? Typically, other ways we could do it in Lightroom without going into Photoshop would be cloning. Um, and that's the only thing I really know of. But now let's check out the new generative AI remove. Boom. So let's look at these modes real quick. We have remove, we have heal, and we have clone. I'm going to do remove. I'm going to click use generative AI. And if you look at the question mark, it says you can view the AI terms. And then I would also press the check mark on detect objects. So what that will do is detect this whole circle and that from when i was testing it out that just worked better to detect the object first cool 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 cool. okay so that's actually perfect i'm gonna put the circle there you could also always change the size of the circle but let's just do a little bit bigger analyzing okay it analyzed the object now you can add brush to refine the selection or you could subtract remove unwanted areas from your selection so let's say I want to subtract, I would go back over it and I could just kind of do this. But let's say I want to add again. I'm going to make the circle smaller because I cut off some of this here. I'll just add it back there. Boom. I'm okay with some of the extra. Let's just see what it does. And now remove. Okay. Literally did it perfect. It actually added some sort of thing there, which is kind of annoying. So it shows it's definitely not perfect, but let's check out a variation. Boom, that's it. Three out of three. It gives you three variations and you can click three dots to delete variation or report, report variation. You can do generative remove or just remove. And you can kind of see the difference there is it doesn't quite do it as well. So generative remove is the way to go. You have this paint brush here, which is use a brush to refine your mask or you can just delete it. So, I mean, as you can see for something like that, this works perfect. Now let's just go a little bit quicker and let's try here. Let's say the homeowner or agent is like, I hate this here. So I'm going to select it oh. just like that. It selects the object. I'm going to keep the mask how it is and remove. Make your selection slightly larger than the object you want to remove is a tip that Lightroom gives. First try. Super simple. Now, I'm not a Photoshop guy, so this might be really easy to do in Photoshop, but I love that in Lightroom, I can do it so easy with Generative Remove. Okay, let's now go to, oh, great example. Something in the mirror. Let's try it. My reflection. I think this is gonna work perfect. For smaller areas and blemishes, use remove without generated by AI. So you don't always have to use it. Okay. Not loving that. It has a shadow. So, okay, this is an example of it didn't work perfectly. So now what I would do is I'm going to go back here. I would like to do it again. 
but I'm just going to select this this time. Remove. It's not perfect. All right, one more time. So this would take a little bit more refining, which is okay. That's better. It kind of stops. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now that's almost perfect. I mean, this, you can still sh see some of that, but that could be some sort of different shadow happening. But you, I'm sure you could just kind of go over this here and boom. So you might have to use it multiple times, but it did end up working. Boom. Good as new. Okay, now let's go to a different type of image and try something a little bit more difficult. Just for shits and geeks. Okay, so let's just say I wanted to remove this entire car. And also, this isn't the best real estate shot. It just, there was nothing, there was no really way to do it good. So this is what it is. So here's the, the parking spot. Let's say I needed to remove this car. Boom. Selecting slightly bigger. Oh, there you go. Got it. Fingers crossed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's not what we wanted. I like how it cleaned up some of the back end, but that wasn't super helpful for that. It made it smaller. Um, what if I do it again? Hmm. I do think you could probably do it over and over where it would, you know, eventually take it out. But let's try this. Let's reset. Boom. And let's see what really the difference between Photoshop beta and let's see if they're comparable. Because obviously Photoshop beta can do the same thing. And also, to be honest, it's not that difficult to open up Photoshop beta and do this. As you can see, it doesn't take very much time. But let's here. Let's go here. We'll go here. Roughly draw around it. Boom. I should say remove. Nope. Okay, so I mean they're comparable. For some reason this one brought up a trailer. Not sure why. Let's do it one more time. Okay. I mean that worked. And then obviously you'd have to kind of work out this, but, huh. So being able to type in the words is actually helpful. Um, but it is cool that Lightroom is stepping it up and it works for smaller things. And it worked a little bit for this too. I'm pretty impressed. All right, I hope this is helpful. You can see how the new features in Lightroom, the generative remove works. Um, I find it super interesting. I'm going to be incorporating it for things like mirrors or spots or blotches or maybe things that are slightly out of place. For the bigger objects, I'll probably go to Photoshop beta and remove them. But anyways, my name is Cole. If you haven't checked out my presets, check them out below. I got lots of videos teaching about real estate photography, entrepreneurship, just life, just some fun stuff too. Check it out. I'll catch you next time. Hi there. Thanks for watching. If you really liked it, maybe you'll like some of these too. While you decide, here's some music. Enjoy.